On Tuesday, the U.S. Treasury yields mostly saw modest gains with the continued uncertainty around the depth and the duration of the COVID-19 pandemic. And consumer confidence fell sharply in March. Canada's GDP uh, for January edged up 0.1 percent, but that's before COVID-19 got out of hand. UK business's confidence crashed in the second week of March. And we found out that the UK economic growth flatlined even before the coronavirus hit the country. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and like and share this video with all of your forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we'll be looking at Canada's PMI and the EU ISM employment and manufacturing data. Today, I'm looking at the pound dollar pair, which has been stuck below the 50% from the retracement level of 1.24 after it started its recovery from all time low levels of 1.14 last week. The sentiment remains mildly bearish, but I wouldn't bet on big swings yet. As the volatility continues, short term positions between key Fibonacci retracement levels could be lower risk. Do you think pound dollar pair will revisit 114? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.